On tonight's Scrapple Report, we have a drink with the worst chef in America. We get our hands dirty with a little taxidermy. N.A. Poe takes us sci-fi speed dating. And Dave Dingwall performs White Boy. But first, the news. What's up? What's... Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. What's up with this internet crap? Scrapple TV. From high atop the Scrapple News Towers in downtown Philadelphia, IA. I'm A.P. Ticker, and this is a headline sandwich with the crusts cut off. Two people have died of drug overdoses, and dozens more are hospitalized following a Maryland music fest on Sunday. Oh, shit. Game. They both came. Concert goers were warned not to eat the brown acid but that only made them want it more. A colonial era boat was discovered underneath the World Trade Center during reconstruction. Conspiracy theorists finally feel vindicated that the British were really behind 9-11. An intoxicated woman was filmed eating chips off the floor of a Metro North train in New York City last week. That subway car has a four-star Zagat review. So, you know, that counts for quality. <laughs> the Guardian reports that rats have become a serious problem in the public gardens at the Louvre in Paris, or Paris which is a really mean way to describe the influx of American tourists, if you ask me. <laughs> Lego has released a new set marketed toward little girls. The new series focuses on female scientists and is a huge leap forward in pretend gender equality. In 50 years, there will either be more women in science or more boys with body dysmorphia. House Republicans have voted to sue President Obama for exceeding his executive authority in his implementation of the Affordable Health Care Act. When I was a kid, I, I, uh, uh, I inhaled uh, frequently. That was, uh, that, was, that was the point. The president responded, I couldn't Obamacare less. <laughs> so sue me. A New York hotel is charging its customers a five hundred dollar fine for posting negative reviews online for their shitty customer service. Don't think I can steal five hundred dollars worth of towels and shampoo to make up for it? <laughs> Challenge accepted. The biggest closet in the world. A million dollar walk-in featured on Good Morning America was burglarized this weekend. Police are on the lookout for a sharp dressed man. The New York Times editorial board took a stance on pot saying the government should repeal the federal ban on marijuana. The board then asked for Doritos and the Netflix password. BuzzFeed fired a writer for plagiarism, calling his behavior the reflection of an unserious attitude toward our work. Later in the day, every other BuzzFeed writer was commended for stealing gifts from Reddit. In celebrity news, because I know your fame lust knows no bounds, unattainable lifestyle promoter Martha Stewart got a drone for her birthday and wrote a time op-ed about it. It was called Why I Love My Drone, in which she bombs Hamas rebels with scrapbooks. If you have a Sauron-level thirst for mead, allow me to introduce Middle Earth's finest ale, Kenzinger beer tastier than a door fruit, and more potent than orc vitality drinks. From the elven elders at Philadelphia Brewing Company, it's Kensinger Beer. Well, that's all from Scrapple News. I remain AP Ticker, reminding you there are no filing cabinets in the jungle. Monkeys don't collate. <laughs> Oh, my God.